Good day, comic heads. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button as it will mean the world to me if you do. With that out of the way, let's begin with The Incredible Hulk, issue number 316, published by Marvel, titled Battleground. The sensational She-Hulk, aka Jennifer Walters, burst through the doors of La Paloma Medical Center in an attempt to see her infirmed cousin, Bruce Banner. Jennifer tells Dr. Fisher that she received an urgent message that she must come immediately for Bruce's under dire circumstances. The doctor informs her that he has sent no such message. Then a little voice from behind them both informs the two that she is the one who sent it. Betty tells Jennifer, as the only living relative, she must give consent over the care of Bruce's medical treatment. It is the decision over life and living death. Elsewhere, Diane Bellamy reports the destructive rampage of the Incredible Hulk. The civilian casualties are in the hundreds as the property damage continues to climb. In the middle of the broadcasting, two human forms streak across the sky towards the center of the destruction. Two members of the West Coast Avengers close in on the Hulk, with Iron Man taking the lead. With a swooping uppercut, Stark levels the giant on his back and then follows through with a repulsive ring. With speediness and agility belying the size, the Hulk springs towards his attacker, but is hamstrung in midair by Shellhead's teammate. Enraged, the Hulk slings a Cadillac at Wonder Man, but Tony steps in and splits it in two. While the two pat each other on the back, the Hulk leaps on the Avengers, flailing them about. Back at the medical facility, Jen and Dr. Fisher discusses Bruce's care. The doctor informs her of his speciality in psychostimulation. More specifically, his practice of medicine and withdrawing patients out of their coma. He proposes to treat her cousin with the same drugs but warns her, because Bruce has been dormant in the Hulk's mind for so long, this has been his normal state. The drug may have the reverse effect and plunge him deeper and to that somnus abyss, never to wake again. The decision is hers to make. Back at the site of the battle, Hulk looms over Iron Man, ready to deal him a crippling blow, when Hercules lands on him, burying the jade to adversary beneath his feet, effectively throwing the East Coast Avengers gauntlet into the fight. Within moments, the Olympian's feet tremble voluntarily as he is hefted into the sky. Quickly, Namor darts like a torpedo, only to be swatted away like a wasp at a picnic. With his opponent's attention occupied, Hercules grabs a steel pipe and bats the hawk into a demolished building. This only further enrages Big Green as the two embrace an unarmed combat. The remaining Avengers seek to join the fray, but a voice from behind hold to their hand. Meanwhile, in a hospital, Jen confides into Betty all that Bruce means to her, explaining that when they were younger, the two were much closer. There was a time when she was at death's door herself, and if it wasn't for Bruce's blood transfusion, she would be dead already. Sure, it turned her into the She-Hawk, but it beat the alternative. Now she has a chance to return the favor, but at what cost? If she chooses wrong, Bruce could spend the rest of his living life in a comatose state. She tells Betty she doesn't know what to do. While back at the battle, Sam sends barrels through the Avengers to get at the Hawk, but is tackled by Wonder Man before he can reach him. The doctor strikes Wonder Man back as Namor and Tony pounce on him in retaliation, causing a second battle to emerge. Hercules believing that his comrades are in danger, leaves the fight to come to their aid. While our heroes battle it out amongst each other, the jaded one lumbers off in search of solitude. Samson is finally able to throw off his attackers, admonishing them on their efforts to subdue the Hulk. If they go out like this anymore, 
New Mexico will be leveled. Samson explains why it is his responsibility to capture the hawk and why he must do it alone. Tony tells him he understands, but if he messes it up next time, the whole might of the Avengers will be back to clean up his mess and they will be back in full force. Back in the hospital room where Banner lay comatose, Jennifer gives the authorization for the attending to administer the medication. The doctor connects the syringe to the IV line and flushes the drug into his patient's veins. Bruce slowly reacts as if in agony and then jumps straight up, gasping for air as Jen, Betty, and Dr. Fisher look on in trepidation. Suddenly the patient flounders about before coming to rest on his side. Betty rushes to him, cradling his head and her tender hands, begging for some sign of recognition to her presence. Finally, he whispers her name, and an audible sigh is heard around the room. Bruce is alive and finally free of the hawk. What happens next for Bruce? Will Samson kill the hawk? Hit that bell icon so you are notified when the next video drops. I encourage you to read this issue, but because of time constraints, I cannot show every panel. Therefore, I cannot show this, the whole story in its entirety. Please don't forget to like this video, and as always, keep reading. <laughs>